Gosh, yeah, like I said, I've only done one of these submission videos, so. Get all the nuns on side of the way here. Uh, so yes, hi, I am TRSCP, aka TRS Crazy P, aka P, whatever works there. Uh, I'm going to be playing a game called I Dream of You and Ice Cream. This is a little game that released just a couple weeks ago on the 17th uh, on the Switch, and then just the other day here on PC. I believe it's the 21st. Uh, this one we'll be playing on is on PC. It's a point and click game, so it's a little bit faster there. Either way, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this because there's like a minute and a half at the start of this game, and um, we're gonna have plenty of time to talk. So, three, two, one, boop. Enjoy your dinner, and thanks for stopping by again. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you around, man. So this is I Dream of You and Ice Cream. I almost said space for some reason. Um, so this is the main antagonist of the game that doesn't really get explained yet, uh, but it'll soon become apparent. What really drew me to this game was the fact that it has no dialogue, no audible words or uh, spoken or in text in this game. So it's all just based on pictures, which I think does add a layer of accessibility to it, which is pretty dang cool. Um, basically, it's just a little point-and-click puzzle game. Do some puzzles, and <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining games. Um, you just do some puzzles. It's point-and-click, pretty awesome. Uh, fairly short game, as you'll see. If you can already tell by the estimates up top there and stuff. So here we're kind of just seeing you know scientists or people in coats being uh brought into this room with uh uh we 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 call this character uh mafia woody um aka big head uh i would talk to the developer and they told me that they are simply named doll in the code and they have no official name so kind of creepy bit of a horror game almost i believe it actually has a horror tag on it so and now it's time for us to do the puzzling. Oh, and I should probably also add that it's a bit of a collect-a-thon, so. There we go. We got the thing. <laughs> Easy enough. So like I said, it's a point-and-click game. Luckily, we have this cursor that we can kind of pre-position uh, before the screens go. So we can just move a little bit faster. Nothing to it. Easy enough puzzles. Like I said, there's no words. It's all just pictures. And it shows you how to kind of do stuff there. This will be one of three characters that we talk to in the game. Basically, they just tell us uh, what is inside of these crates. If you can see that picture and make out what that is, good for you. Now, when I first played this game, I actually played it on controller. Like I said, I got it on the Switch. Um, kind of fun routing that out, but it's just a little bit faster to play on controller. There is downtime between your actions, so... I already goofed up. <laughs> so you have some time to kind of, you know, move a controller cursor over and stuff. Same with the mouse, just make sure that you're lined up. All right, this is a little uh, little chase puzzle here. They get two movements, you get one. Easy enough. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. And again, place the cursor kind of right where you need it. Time, the the windows are pretty generous, so you do have time to you know reposition if uh, before you can actually enter an input. All right, we're just gonna head straight down here. Collect more things. Now, something else that helps make this game accessible is the fact that it has uh, this hint system. If you look down in the left corner. There's some stars kind of flashing around. Basically, it's the game's hint system, and if you need to use it, uh, every puzzle gives you a half star, and then it uses one star to complete a puzzle, or to do basically half of the puzzle for you. Uh, you cannot 
have it fully do the puzzle. It's only a hint. It's not a solution. Um, playing with controller, it is a little bit faster to have it do the inputs for you, even if you already know the puzzle. Uh, but on mouse, it's not too bad. This here is a Towers of Hanoi puzzle. I goofed up. <laughs> uh, it's... I really should memorize these puzzles. Um, but they're generally not too bad. That's all we had to do. If you are unfamiliar with the Towers of Hanoi puzzles, uh, usually the format that it's shown in is three or four posts, and there's a series of discs that you have to move from the left to the right. Bigger discs can't go on the smaller disc, and you can only move one at a time. So. But in this one, they just put it in a little circle. Kind of cool. That's the end of the first day. So obviously that thing that we just made, uh, we're going to put it on a robot because that's how robots work. And we're going to go to bed. Wow. I've <laughs> it's so weird seeing a red split. <laughs> that's all right, though. We'll make it back. Basically, there's a lot of downtime between each of the days. As you can see, there's five. Um, so for marathon settings, uh, donations, uh, call to action, description of the charity that money is being raised for, all sorts of fun stuff we can put in here. 14 seconds on the Towers of Illinois. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so at the end of each day, there's the meeting. We are not at present in this room. Lovely voice on this character. I forget the exact timing, but I think it's like a minute or so of, of these cutscenes every day. Um, basically, some questions asked again in picture form. Woody, <laughs> yeah, Mafia Woody, aka Big Head, aka Doll. So basically, just ask asking questions, and then uh, they get answered, and uh, that's all kind of nonsensical. Why are the questions being asked? Who knows? This being from another planet uh, wishes to gain knowledge, I guess. Elevator's still being worked on, so we can't go there. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and do this key puzzle here. Left, 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 right, 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 right. That's how I remember that puzzle. <laughs> Just a bunch of lefts and then a couple rights. There's a person there. We're not going to talk to them. We're going to go pick up this uh, collectible, though. It's actually a puzzle. It's a scrap of paper. It's crumpled up paper. There's another one here. This person we have to talk to. This is two of three people that we do have to talk to. There's a machine, and we need six liquid. And it makes a gas. So we better have a gas mask. All right, more puzzles. Actually, this isn't even a puzzle. <laughs> this next screen is uh, its uh, the camera. The camera stealth. That's a time save right there. Locking up a little bit. Oh, I actually cut that really close. I don't know how sensitive these sensors are. Uh, and I've hit it once for the first time. Uh, just a little bit ago. It was fantastic. We picked up a crowbar, obviously. That goes in the in the gears, and the gears run the cameras. It all makes sense. Puzzling. Cyberpunk. So 
That it does. So something else you may have noticed about our character is that we wear a red armband instead of the green armbands that are present on everyone that uh, is in that meeting room, whatever you want to call it. All right, more puzzles. More puzzles. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to focus on these puzzles. <laughs> I forgot to grab the green bean. No, grab the green bean. Potential future time save. That's all that is right there. You go this way. More green beans. Oh, I'm sorry. Collectibles. My brain's all jumbled. I saw a control panel, so I thought it was a... That thought it was a green bean. It was not... The puzzles in this game, none of them are really that hard. Um, you can brute force some of them. Again, you can use a hint to get through half of the puzzles. Half of the puzzle. Uh, this one I solved right on my first try. Don't know if that order matters or not, but uh, that's what I do. <laughs> there are a few puzzles that I just happen to sheer luck and... Lucky guesses to get through them. So we have 11 of those puzzle pieces, uh, paper scraps, whatever you want to call them. And now we can go collect the last one, which is here. That door closing sounds so good. That's such a good door closing sound. And open, I guess. All right, so now we have a puzzle piece up in the corner of our screen. So all of those paper scraps uh, were for this. Where did you go? This guy. Try to do this not as messily as I can. <laughs> no promises, though. Okay. Oh, we're literally puzzling. Good. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, time lost, time saves. It's all good. Uh, so I'm going to turn this this way and then this way. And now I know that this one goes like this. And now I can just go in a circle. Go in a circle around the square. I can remember which buttons where. <laughs> All right, cool. I got it right. I got it. And now we have a cube. Let's end of day two. Oh, first we had to put the part on the robot. So you can see what I'm talking about with, I can't do an input yet. Now I can. There it is. Cube, cube get. Cube get. The cube has a fan base. <laughs> Can you sleep before you work on the robot? No. Uh, if you try to sleep, it says, hey, I should uh, work on the robot. So if uh, if you, if you if the, the game has been on rails in that regard, where if you try to do something that it doesn't want you to, it won't let you do it. So again, uh, it would be a good time for donations, uh, call to action, talking about the marathons, cause and charity that money is being raised for. Uh, and then here I can also do more explaining of the pictures if people can't translate them. Um, again, more questions. 
the world split in half. They send these guys. They send these guys. And they shoot each other, right? Question mark. So this guy nervously explains. You can see the, the speech bubbles kind of wobbly there. They get together and they make peace. He didn't like that, so uh, everyone's dead. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this game is a, is marked as a horror game, so. Day three, we can now use the elevator. Fancy that, huh? All I have to remember is to not go down a screen right here. And then we are set. There we go. Circuitry puzzles. Easy stuff. That is a third green bean. And then uh, everyone's favorite room. Uh, the rock smack room. <laughs> oh my gosh, I missed it by a, a hair. And then that one's just going to go flying by. We have to hit 10 of these in total. There's no way to speed this up or anything. As far as I know. Now, I should ask the dev if they have a secret speed up the game button that they added. Um, but I don't know if that's going to ruin the integrity of the game or not. <laughs> so there we go. I hit 10. Uh, I clicked out of the game. Sorry. This game is in full screen, but it doesn't lock my mouse to the, uh, to the screen. That's okay. Teach people to run during the run, basically. <laughs> basically, it's doable. As long as you memorize and do everything as I do. For instance, here's another one of those sheer luck puzzles. I didn't understand what it was trying to explain to me up here. And then it worked. Like, I just started clicking stuff. And then it worked first try. So, you know, we, we take that around here. We take that. There we go, and that's gonna give me a ball. <laughs> now you do. Anyone can <laughs> anyone can puzzle. Alright, so back to the main floor. And we're gonna talk to our third and final person. No, that doesn't count. There we go. Blue armband. The only character I believe to have the blue armband. And a fourth green bean. We're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna go this way. Action section coming up here. Hopefully, I can uh, first try this. I double clicked. So that didn't count. This is this is first try right here. This is the first try right here. As you can see, this might be a little bit trickier on controller. Uh, cause you can't move a, a, a switch joystick around that fast. So anyway, first try, obviously easy enough. And now we have a gas mask. If you recall, the one person that we talked to told us that we need a gas mask so we don't suffer, suffocate when we dispense said gas. We're actually almost done with the puzzles, by the way, too, which is kind of cool. Line everything up. There we go. Oh, did I really miss one? <laughs> I, miss. I always goof one of these up. That one is actually easier on a controller because your X and Y coordinates, you know, you can just go straight up, straight down, straight left, straight right. Another one of those silly puzzles. Um, once you figure out the pattern and how this machine works, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward, I think, anyway. We have the ball, now we have the ball encapsulated. Oh my gosh. 
We're gonna be in the red again. What did I goof up this time? What did I goof up? Oh well. Losing time left and right. Still should be under the 35 minute estimate that I have in my head. Just a ballpark number right there. More story. Or more dreams, I guess. If need be, if this, if that scene is too graphic, um, I can set up a button or something to uh, block the screen. I'm not going to block the screen right now, just in case it invalidates my run or anything. <laughs> Ooh. Posture check. Make sure you're sitting, sitting pretty. All right. Today's question. Realize this person right in front of the camera here on the left side, their head, it looks like it's missing a row of pixels. Maybe. I could also just be making that up. That answer was acceptable, apparently. In, in in my head, the head canon I have is that uh, the doll uh, has the comprehension of a child, so they th they throw fits and tantrums and whatnot. Um, all right, we literally have like two puzzles left, so we're getting close to the end of the game here. Put this in the middle. Put this over here. Look at this. Look at this. Like I've done it before or something. Can you believe it? It's just like war. That's true. Oh yeah, the spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Make sure to save your spreadsheets. You who is watching and reviewing this video, save your spreadsheets right now do it all right so we just picked up a drill for our robot that's clearly a drill i'm trying to think if i forgot something or if i was just that good right there no all i've left to do is uh, the hatch which is one more puzzle so here's some story uh, uh people were forced to vote all around the world and then uh, delegates I guess you could say were uh, moved to uh, Greece we I've deduced that it's Greece um, I asked somebody in chat what was east of Italy because I'm that's not my specialty <laughs> yeah I have no idea what happened there why that, why that split is gold but uh, that's okay some of best still looks to be smack on First time I played this game, I saw the screen right here. I was so excited. I was so hyped. I was so hyped to see that. I I clapped. And then this happens, and we now need to kill this person. We now need to kill this character. <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> so again, it is the last day. It's a couple. The the room that I said that I don't go into, we now go into. It's a supply closet, full of all sorts of supplies. Okay. It's 
a little clicky puzzle here. Minesweeper-ish, except it's not that at all. And that's it. I, I don't think I can use the arrow keys here to, to move around. Actually, probably not because it's got the diagonals, so. All right. Big empty underground whatever thing and a can of paint that's it and that's all now we're getting out of here of course we didn't need to kill him before <laughs> yes <laughs> and just a big old creepy screen here why do you have the red paint like well and notice our speech bubble is not quivering or shaking or anything. We're obviously going to just cover ourselves in the red paint. Again, I will refer back to a conversation that I had with the uh, with the dev of the game, the developer. Uh, the red paint basically symbolizes defiance uh, to a degree. If you notice, we have that red armband. We're the only character with the red armband. Everyone else has the green, and then the one character has the blue. I assume just to kind of signify, like, hey, we've got an item for you or something. I don't know. Uh, but the new. So here we go. Last part on a robot. And it's red paint. Yeah. Now we're going to bed. Cool. I might have split that like a hair early, but I just saw a number pop up, so I... I just instinctively just... You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, there are some messages in this game, obviously. Um, you know, topics that are discussed, whatnot. Uh, so now in our dream... Uh, Mafia Woody just uh, boomed in our dream. So now, now we dream of Mafia Woody and ice cream. As you can see, we did have, put a wonderful paint job on this robot. As you can see, just a slash on the chest. And now we are requested to join the meeting hall. All right. Let's see everyone filing in. And of course, this is our third batch of people, so this must be a continuous happening. Uh, we can deduce, I suppose. Not actually written or spoken, so it's up for interpretation, I guess. Which is kind of beautiful about this game, I guess. You take the words away, and people have to fill them in themselves. So today, they want to know about exchange of money. And now... Everyone, including ourselves, is now dead. Including ourselves. Uh, so guess what? We're the robot now. Oh yeah. Sort of Rob themed, I guess. Almost, maybe. Very fitting, the shirt I'm wearing right now. My mouse should be in the center, and I just start clicking. I'm sorry. I thought I was wearing my Taskbot shirt. I just saw the, the pit. Wow, I'm terrible. Wore the shirt all day. Didn't realize it. <laughs> it's my other GDQ shirt with the with controllers on it. That's not Taskbot. That's on me. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be my first sub 30 run on officially officially world record because there's no leaderboard, and I forgot it. Right, okay. Sub 30, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. I would give this an estimate of, of 30 minutes flat, but, and it's easier for timing, for scheduling, I know, but if stuff goes wrong, 
that 2852 can easily turn into a 31. So a 30, yeah, 30, a 32 is the worst for scheduling, I think. Uh, but yeah, that is the game. We had one last dream, even though we are uh, dead and it fades to blue and that's the end of the game. I personally am not sure of the significance of fading to blue on the screen there or anything. Um, but it was one last dream and kind of the CRT filters going on there. And uh, that's the credits. Blue for peace, that could be it, yeah. Um, when I ran and run Lena's Inception and the credits, I always thank the creators of that game. Uh, because there's three names that I list and it's the credits are done already. There's quite a few names in this one. Um, it's kind of cool seeing you know, all these people's names on here, so. Yeah. Attributions.txt. And yes, this game does have translations. Uh, five languages in total. Uh, yep. <laughs> I think the language, you can literally change the language for the menu. That's it. And made with Game Maker Studio 2. Kind of cool to see. Again, like I said, this game just released uh, right here in June, right in the middle of June. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that's the game. New unofficial world record. New PB for sure. That's at least a new PB. We can at least say that much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock my splits. I'm going to go ahead and do one of these. Just kidding. What did I just push? All right. So that's the submission if I didn't already wrap that up. Cool. I'm going to point at that. I'm taking a screenshot now.